Quen 3 just tied for third spot in LM, LM Arena, which is absolutely crazy. So the only models better than Quen 3 are Google's and OpenAI's, but it's better than Grok, Anthropic, Kimi, DeepSeek, all of this good stuff. Now this may be a general ranking, maybe for different cases different models are better, but there is one important thing. These open source models are cheap and fast. And even though Opus or Sonnet might be better for coding, if you have a cheap and fast model that's gonna do some agentic task, it can be a lot faster, a lot better, you can use a lot more of it. So depending on the task, this can be a lot better. And Quen just released even a lot smaller version that's very good, it's 30 billion parameters and it's very good. 30 billion active uh, total, so maybe just 3 billion active parameters. NVIDIA argues that small language models are the future of agentic AI, and I agree, a lot of the tasks they can do very quickly or a lot more things as opposed to slow expensive models. So they can do 80% of the tasks that big models can do a lot of the time but they are a lot cheaper, like two, three, four times cheaper and faster. So you can instead use big models just for specific tasks, for example, cloud models for just for coding, but for research and maybe even the uh, control, you can use small models. I saw this company on YouTube, SciSpace, and I think they have these like uh, research agents that help you do research. So. I think this is the future. Uh, people say agents is future, but I didn't believe it until first of all, I saw some random people using Gemini 2.5 Pro to solve almost five out of six uh, math Olympiad questions using just like prompts and agents uh, without even tools. And then I really like this idea of this uh, product. It's not sponsored. I don't know them. I I'm just showing you because I like the idea. And so I think this might be the future or this is for sure the future and maybe probably with small LLMs uh, for a lot of the tasks. This is an example of a system. So it has la language model. It can call tools and another language model. Maybe this is like a small control and this is Cloud Opus and then, or Cloud Sonnet and it can, it can code and call tools. So small language models are sufficiently powerful which is most important because they are distilled. They are almost as good as the big ones, inherently more suitable and necessarily more economical for many invocations in agentic systems and are therefore the future of agentic AI, which they are, I believe. But we will probably have different agents for different tasks. So maybe a lot of tasks, small models, but most difficult tasks like solving some mathematical or designing chips. Maybe we're gonna use big agents for that or business plans and stuff. So scaling laws aren't everything. Many newer models are breaking traditional assumptions. Small language models can be fine-tuned cheaply to match performance on specific tasks, true or even surpass performance if you use reinforcement learning training on a small model. So agents simplify tasks anyways. A general purpose LLM may be overkill when tasks are broken into simpler subtasks. I think the main advantage is I can let this small model go and not think about it, uh, about the cost. And also uh, those hyper fast inference engines like Cerebras or Grok or Samba Nova, they are implementing these very good small models like Quen 30B with 3 billion active parameters. And they have 2000 tokens per second on those models. So that's like instant gener instantly generating whole page. So I'm wondering how nice it will be to have such fast model that's almost as smart as Frontier just do my uh, agentic stuff. This is how to replace LLM with small language model. Log everything and the LLM agent does. Clean and anonymize the data, which I don't know, okay? Uh, cluster tasks that appear often and then find small LLM 
for each cluster and you can also fine tune if this doesn't work and then repeat this process. So solve the task with big language model and then find or fine tune the small language model for that type of tasks. You can just distill the generations of the big language model using unslot. It's so easy. I, I was doing it before. It's so easy. Just distill generations for that specific task. So let it generate maybe 100, 200 generations and distill. And it's so easy. Just train the small language model with reinforcement learning using unslot to output this kind of reasoning. So that's gonna be it for this short video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Check out my other videos.